Hello Aries, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for uh, November 8th through 14th. Uh, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread. Just whatever the universe wants you to know this week. When I mean this week, 8th through the 14th, because I've already uploaded um, the 1st through the 7th for November. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Celtic Cross spread, please. 8 through the 14th. What does Aries need to know? One more. It will be an extended. If you guys are interested, <clears throat> you can find the link in the description box below. Alright, so let's see Aries what's going on. Some of you may be feeling left out. Maybe financial situation. We will see. Oh, wow. The Nine of Swords. The overall situation that you're dealing is that there's some type of, I feel like mostly um, anxiety, a lot of thinking and stressing over a situation we will see. It's not necessarily that the Nine of Swords is bad. It's just that kind of constant um, anxious thoughts. Like you cannot stop it um, from thinking about something. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. It's so interesting how this is coming together let me see i think some of you guys are light maybe is it better i hope so the five of cups is um crossing this there's someone that still is holding to a regret from the past a loss from the past emotional loss missing you uh, or you missing someone again this is, is saying the situation you're dealing with I feel like it has to do about love. It's interesting because, yeah, about love here. We'll see though. The King of Cups. I think even the reading that I did for you guys, I feel like your person, they had a lot of, um, you had a lot of cups as well. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign. You don't have to. At the root of all of this is because of um, this person that is in love. They have not moved on. I feel like the King of Cups or you towards the King of Cups, whoever this person is, still is anxious, still is missing someone, still is thinking about the regrets. The Hierophant in the past. Taurus. It doesn't have to be again. There's something... When I... Personally, me here as a reader, everybody has their own um, views. When I look at the Hierophant, though always I feel like there's some type of spiritual connection, I always see it as a connection here is bound by other obligations. In the past, there was certain faith and belief, but also there was something here about um, rules, obligation, responsibilities. Maybe this was a person here that you were dealing that had... Um, was a mentor, a guide, we will see when we clarify. Okay, so how you're going to think possible of this situation is to be strong. And actually you need that, knowing that these two cards is what you're dealing with. There's a certain sense of a big heart uh, with a, a strength card backbone, but also is someone that is trying here to tame that instinct. Or that longing in, in this particular one I see someone is very proudful and someone that is like I'm gonna keep my head I up I'm gonna I know here what I need to do I know that I have my strength the eight of Pentacles is coming uh, immediately towards you this to me is mostly that someone is just focusing on improving or work if this is the connection um, or you are worried regarding something about, you know, legal matters or right or wrong. The Eight of Pentacles Virgo energy is mostly that, okay, I know now what I need to handle. There's more time, but there's improvement. If there is financial difficulties here, guys, and you are worried about a working situation, the Eight of Pentacles is what you want. It's like there's uh, an improvement, a skill. This person is very detailed in what they're doing. The way you are going to see yourself or your behavior is the chariot. Again, a lot about moving forward. Yes, I know I'm dealing with this. Yes, I know this is a situation, unfortunate situation. My heart is full. 
my mind is uh, strong and my behavior here is like I'm, I'm ready to move forward um, that's what you are going to want to do in um, in your actions externally here you might not be able to see this energy but this is what is influencing you we have the queen of swords now this may be how they see you or this may be the person you're dealing with the queen of swords is coming here as very much having made up her mind looking at the truth very objective this is a very um i feel like smart personality type of situation i i want to clarify because when i get the characters i want to see what the clarifiers are but especially in this one she's holding the sword as this is what i believe in this is my truth meaning that you know when it comes to communication and my thoughts the page of pentacles is in your um, hopes and fears so you are going to hope for some type of communication financially here especially for some of you since the eight of pentacles is coming in that is the improvement the page of pentacles is gathering information it's looking at uh, you know long term here what do i need to do how do i need to improve there is some type of messages financial or practical or in a way um, that can be used not right away with you know when it comes from the heart it's just someone that is just gathering and seeing what is the value here how do i go about it the knight of wands is completely different from the whole um, spread but he's saying the best possible outcome out here is um, movement is passion is instinct so whatever it is that someone here is i don't want to say that it's just kind of staying there and just pining away when it comes to the thoughts and you know what if this is never going to happen i just need to you know to kind of hold back that knight of wands is just someone that feels like you know something i'm just gonna go for it instinctual passionate um especially such a different from this eight of pentacles here as well that is more of a detail oriented more of a virgo if i were to see these two right now it's virgo and sagittarius which again um though mutable and flexible they have different approach in how they go about something this is kind of that volcanic eruptions i need to go here there's no time to wait there's no time to think about it there's no time to see how this is going to be though you're thinking uh, the page of pentacles maybe what it's coming towards you is more of a passionate approach all right so we're going to clarify quickly what's going on get a little bit more understanding someone that wants to open up share okay so what is the nine of swords one more the queen of wands remember the king of cups is at the root of this and the this worry this anxiety is over this very passionate attractive personality here like to me it's just thoughts at night anxious thoughts someone is really really um thinking heavily about that uh queen of wands or the queen of wands towards this person what is the five of cups one more there's someone here that um wants to come in and work something out again it may be regarding someone you work with guys it does not have to be um just about love there's a partnership when the three of pentacles i feel like there's other people involved or there's some type of partnership there's a friendship there's something now this is interesting because we have mars mars in capricorn and mars in scorpio they work very well together actually earth and water and um it's about someone's action it's about someone wanting to go after a certain uh thing remember which i can see that as uh also martian energy going for it so that's what is is challenging this worry is that someone is holding on to these actions or you know is this a friendship is there collaboration is this even going to happen maybe you know because of the situation we cannot be together it's just someone that is 
kind of pining or feeling a loss of things that need to happen but is worried that they are not going to. What is the King of Cups here? One more. Okay, so there's been a waiting game with the King of Cups. At the root, at the foundation of this, this King of Cups is someone that has been waiting for some time here, invested patiently. The strength card wanted to come out. One more. Yeah, there's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of restriction. Internally, mostly, someone has been struggling and I feel like in a way is losing their pa patience. But it's... This is where the heart is, and the situation is the worry with the Queen of Wands. The heart is like, I've been waiting, I've been struggling, do I still keep on waiting? What do I do here? What is the Hierophant? One more. Wow. The Knight of Cups, but the Nine of Wands is here with the Devil and the King of Cups. Now, that is a beautiful combination. It is about true love. It is about someone believing in true love in the past. Um, proposal. It's like I feel vows, commitment. One more. Yeah, there's there was always an offer here. Someone always thought and believed... Um, In that love in the recent past or the past I don't know if someone ever looked at this because they were you know looking at other things with this four of cups it's like I feel like someone is settling or is not looking up maybe because of a certain beliefs uh, with the judgment I, I still feel like someone is waiting for a chance that is a true belief here Why you have the strength card in your mind? One more. Wow. Scorpio energy. Look at this. Uh, you're trying... Remember, the Five of Cups is what's challenging you, which has to do with the regret from the past. And then there you are holding strong regarding the past memories, the nostalgia. So I would say this has to do with someone here that you have known before. Uh, a platonic relationship for some of you or a soulmate you just feel like you have to kind of you know listen to your heart but at the same time be strong not let fear not let obstacles um, I just feel like that strength card is just your willpower to look at this situation and what you need to uh, overcome but it definitely there is someone from the past that is in your mind there Aries a beautiful connection that um you're still holding very strong, but I feel like you're trying to tame that uh, wild side. What is the Eight of Pentacles? One more. Okay, now we have the King of Wands. So someone here is coming towards you. I don't know if this is you or someone, but now we have a match. Uh, two people that are very passionate towards each other. This Eight of Pentacles with the King of Wands, this is someone that has... or is a is a is a boss or has some type of leadership qualities because i'm getting that there's someone that is working improving and making things happen i do have a lot of also leo energy here just to tell you what is this eight of pentacles with the king of wands one more no. one more the death card scorpio Something here, I feel like something that has ended. Someone is trying still to improve a situation. Remember, the Seven of Pentacles is coming here. This person emotionally is waiting, is struggling. And then he's saying that finally the Eight of Pentacles. So someone is looking at things of progress and feels more passionate. That's what's coming in. Again, this will make sense if the characters here are someone that you're dealing with. Otherwise, it will confuse you. But the death card that is coming, I don't feel like the death card is an ending here necessarily. I always, especially in this one, I feel like someone is still standing there. 
So this King of Wands is coming with some type of transformation and making things happen with the Eight of Pentacles. There's some progress, there's some uh, movement. This may be someone that, again, you had um, Scorpio for some of you, strong Scorpio energy, but um, also someone that you had an ending with. Why you have the chariot in your attitude? One more. Okay, this is so beautiful, the Two of Swords, because whatever it is here, crossroads, chariot um, usually means that there's a direction. So you feel like you cannot stay like that. Your behavior is like, I have to make a choice and I have to move forward. You, you see yourself as moving forward. Action. That's your behavior. <clears throat> You're going to move. You know that you cannot stay like that. Whatever it is, the chariot feels like I'm, I'm going for it. Why the Queen of Swords? One more. Wow, so the Queen of Swords is the one here that um, feels left out. One more. Man, there's so many characters here. Um, the this queen of swords external to you there's been a lot of juggling maybe be between two other people and someone has been left out financially or has been worried about um, a financial situation or cast it outside but that's what makes that queen of swords kind of you know stay detached and objective and not letting her heart open there's someone here that has kind of juggled the situation or has neglected and for some of you this may be a person because of wealth, money, or <clears throat> Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo for some of you. But that's that's her stance type of, you know, no, I don't want to go there anymore. I, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know if they feel left out or they left me out, but there's a juggling. So what is this page of pentacles here in your hopes and fears? One more. <laughs> the king of cups that is here in the foundation. So some type of uh, offer or messages even friendship um that's what you're hoping for but there's still love this is from someone that is very kind very loving if you are the king of cups you want here something that you've been waiting for a long time if you are not the king of cups you are that queen of wands um energy then you're waiting for this person to open up I'm getting that the King of Cups here, no matter struggle, is someone that has invested and their heart is very open towards this person. It does not have to be water sign, guys. It just can be someone that is <clears throat> very loving, very nurturing. What is the Knight of Wands? One more. Chariot. This is beautiful. The out, that outcome is beautiful because first of all, as I mentioned, you are going to move forward. But I said that there's someone here that it's just, first of all, some of you, if you have decided to relocate, this is a relocation um, type of uh, cards together. It's just someone that says, I'm, I'm not staying where I am. I'm going to another place. If it is a distance you're dealing, this person from a distance wants to come to you right away um, immediately. But since you have... Um, this attitude is saying that that's going to be your best possible outcome. You feel like I'm going for it. I don't want to stay like this. And then he's saying passion, um, quick journey, action are coming towards you. Very much positive movement. Very courageous, by the way. And I can see also because you have courage here on your mind, on your thoughts, Aries. This, whatever the situation you're going to be dealing, remember he's saying with this, that's the best possible outcome. Something is going to come here to give you the opportunity for improvement and get out of whatever you've been waiting. And finally, things are moving along for this week for you guys. In the extended, as usual, we will look at your love life and who is coming towards you. Thank you. Bye-bye.